The Indus Valley Civilization was the earliest known urban culture in the Indian subcontinent, flourishing from around 2500 BC to about 1700 BC. Its main centers, including Mohenjo-Daro, Harappa, Kalibangan, and Lodal, were located in what is now Pakistan. Archaeological evidence suggests that human settlement in the region west of the Indus River, near the Pakistan-Iran border, began as early as 8000 BC. During this period, people led a semi-nomadic lifestyle, herding animals and practicing limited agriculture. Around the 3rd millennium BC, due to increased population, there was a migration eastward into the fertile Indus Valley. This region, like the Nile region in Egypt, offered excellent conditions for agriculture due to the annual flooding and deposition of nutrient-rich silt. The earliest settlements likely appeared near the Indus Delta in the south and gradually spread north and east as the civilization developed. During the early centuries of colonization, the population rapidly increased, resulting in a fairly uniform culture and significant economic and political control. Despite the existence of various settlements, the leading cities were likely governed by a class of priests or priest kings, similar to the system in ancient Egypt. The economy of the Indus Valley relied on agriculture and animal husbandry. They cultivated wheat, rice, dates, melons, and various green vegetables, primarily legumes. Cotton was also a crucial crop, driving the growth of the textile industry for which the Indian subcontinent became renowned. Raw cotton was brought to the cities, where it was spun, woven, and dyed, creating high-quality textiles that were likely traded with neighboring regions like Mesopotamia, Afghanistan, and southern India. The Indus civilization raised a variety of domesticated animals, including humped cattle, buffalo, sheep, goats, pigs, camels, dogs, cats, and domestic fowl. Elephants were also present in the region and might have been domesticated as well. The settlements of the Indus civilization ranged from small villages to relatively large cities. Cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa were about one mile square and had a large citadel or fortress on the west side, with the rest of the city extending to the east. The citadel at Mohenjo-Daro was elevated on a platform and consisted of several buildings, including the famous Great Bath, granaries, and administrative structures. The lower city, situated to the east of the citadel, was organized in a grid pattern with streets. Major cities had massive defensive brick walls protecting the citadel. While it is uncertain if the entire cities were enclosed by walls, evidence of a wall around the lower town has been found only at Kalibangan. Estimating the population of the ancient Indus civilization is challenging, but based on archaeological findings, Mohenjo-Daro might have had a population of 35,000 to over 41,000 people, while Harappa could have had between 23,000 and 35,000 people. The entire region covered an area of about 500,000 square miles at its peak, which included more than 70 population sites, making it a larger territory than modern-day Pakistan. Other significant sites included Omri, Khat Digi, and Shenhudaro. Archaeological excavations have revealed a considerable amount of artistic activity in the Indus cities. Various stone sculptures, cast bronze figures, and terracotta figurines have been discovered. Most of these figurines depict jewelry-laden unclothed females, possibly representing goddesses, but a few male figurines have also been found. Some figurines, such as animals and carts, are believed to be toys. Pottery was adorned with paintings, showcasing another form of artistic expression. The religious beliefs of the Indus society are not well documented, leaving much to speculation. While no definitive places of worship have been found, some buildings are considered likely temple sites. It is assumed that the Indus civilization worshipped a great god and a great mother, potentially laying the foundation for later Hindu beliefs in deities like Shiva and Shakti. Animal cults devoted to the bull, buffalo, and tiger might have also been part of their religious practices. Burial sites suggest a belief in an afterlife, as indicated by the number of household goods buried with the deceased, possibly reflecting the hope that they would need these items in the afterlife. The uniform civilization of the Indus Valley eventually came to an end around 1700 BC. The reasons for its decline are not entirely clear and could have been due to factors such as a major invasion, gradual incursion by outsiders, or other unknown causes.